Imagine this. Brianna Williams, Elaine thompson Hera, Sharika Jackson, and Tina Clayton crash over 100 meters at Velocity Fest. And yes, this happens tomorrow. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drops, we drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, are you ready? Yeah, good to go. Well, imagine four of the best in the game. Brianna Williams, Elaine thompson Hera. Sharika Jackson and Tina Clayton all clash over 100 meters tomorrow. That's tomorrow at the National Stadium in Velocity Fest 13 over the 100 meters. Now, none of these ladies, believe it or not, has actually opened their 100 meter season so far. What will we or can we expect? This may be the first time we get an honest opinion as to where these remarkable athletes all are in their 2023 outdoor prep over the 100 meters. Because as I said earlier, none of these ladies have ran 100 meters officially thus far for the 2023 season. First up, we've seen Brianna Williams run a 200 meter as well as a few 60 meter dash, but no 100 meters thus far. It's a clean start of pulling one for Brianna Williams. She won't leave it trying to stay with her. It's Brianna Williams trying to pull one for Brianna Williams. Brianna Williams has had a mixed season thus far, winning her first 60, losing her 200 meters against the next person we're going to talk about, Tina Clayton, and seemingly having to deal with injury issues that have reoccurred a few times. However, we are hoping that tomorrow at the Velocity Fest, we'll be able to truly assess where she's at in her prep. Because she'll be once more lined up against the rookie of the crew, the newest member of the pro athlete circuit, Tina Clayton. Tina Clayton, of course, beat Brianna Williams in their first clash for the 2023 season over the women's 200 meters. This is going to clash names five and six. Tina Clayton and Brianna Williams. They make their way off the curve. Williams and Clayton together down the stretch. They come. It's Tina Clayton with the advantage. Brianna Williams trying to respond down the home stretch. Tina Clayton. Clara Brianna Williams. Nanda trying to come through as well. Tina Clayton awaits it easily. Nanda finishes in second position. And Brianna Williams comes across the line in third, negative 1.4 meters. As Brianna Williams tries to find her footing thus far for the 2023 season, Tina Clayton, who is in her rookie year, meaning this is her first year as a professional athlete, is having a pretty good 2023 season so far. We saw her first running uh, 60 meters in the United States, did solid jobs, ran good times. Then we saw her in an outdoor 60 meter where she blew the competition away, running a time, I believe, of 7.05, looking really good. We saw her in that 200 meter. The fact of the matter is she's been doing really, really, really well for her first season as a pro. What will she do in her first official 100 meters against some of the biggest guns in the game tomorrow at Velocity Fest? What do you think Tina Clayton will do? When she lines up against the likes of Sharika Jackson, who I believe is the sixth fastest all time in the women's 100 meters with a PB, which she set last year in the Diamond League, of 10.71. Really, really impressive time. Now, we've seen Sharika Jackson run several 400 meters thus far for the season, including this one where she ran a season's best of, I believe, of 50.92. At one point, we thought she was going to probably go back to running the 400 meters seriously. Okay, they go for this A race in the women's 400 meters. Sharika Jackson going out in lane number six has already run 52.05 this season. Stacey and Williams are tracking well down the back stretch. Now training locally after her wonderful collegiate year, Stacey and Williams. They hit the 200 meters mark, Williams and Jackson. 
Clayton and Russell trying to stay close as well. Jenny Russell in lane number four. They are about to make their way into the straightaway. Sharika Jackson and Stacey Ann Williams right together. Jenny Russell trying to chase down the stretch. Sharika Jackson holds the advantage. Shrugs off the challenge of Stacey Ann Williams and steps away. Now we watch the clock. Sharika Jackson comes through in 50.92. 52.05. In the indoor 2023 season, we did see Sharika Jackson do what she did last year. She ran several 60 meter dash two, I believe, officially, and did okay. So, how is she going to line up against this young lady who is actually currently the second fastest human being of all time in the women's 100 meters, the great Elaine Thompson Hera? And we have no real idea what kind of condition Elaine Thompson Hera is in either we've seen her do a few 60 meters locally and globally where she won but we saw her attempt to do a 400 meters and the last week i believe at the tom jones memorial she came second in a, in a 200 meters what will she do in her first official 100 meter for the 2023 season Now this of course is my two cents. Regardless of the outcome of tomorrow people, I am truly excited to see four of the best lineup to do it. Two of our great juniors, Brianna Williams and Tina Clayton, and two of our greatest seniors, two of the greatest, heck let's be honest, two of the three greatest female sprinters alive today in the world, Sharika Jackson and Elaine Thompson Hera. Now it's still relatively early for the outdoor season and I stated the as far as I, I am aware you can correct me if I'm wrong because y'all are very very knowledgeable this is officially the first hundred meters that all of these young ladies are actually running for the season they are officially and it's the first time that we're, we're going to see this depth of talent lined up over 100 meter so it's the first time we get an opportunity to actually see where these young ladies are at so at this point I'm not going to even attempt to predict who may or may not win once they all line up against each other. I expect and hope to see a great run from uh, Brianna Williams because she needs it just for her own psychology. I expect Tina Clayton to be as assertive and, uh, and as aggressive as she always is over the 100 meters. And I do not expect Sharika Jackson and or Elaine Thompson Hera to back down. This is going to be serious because one of the things I do note about all these young ladies is once they line up on the track, it's all about the business. It's all about the business. So at this point, I have no predictions. I can't tell you who is going to win, who's not going to win, because the truth is, based on their previous races thus far for the 2023 season, I have no idea. This is their first real 100 meters, I believe. So it's going to be even hard to assess where they're at, but at least they'll be getting their legs under them and we will get a great race. So keep it locked here to Peter Lloyd World. You know that we're going to be giving you all the necessary updates, videos, etc. that you're going to need. Stay here and you tell me, of the four, who is going to win what? Who do you think will come out on top with the fastest time over the 100 meters at tomorrow's Velocity Fest happening on April the 22nd? and at the national stadium kingston jamaica but this of course is my two cents i'd absolutely absolutely love to hear your thoughts now don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell hit the like button remember you are royals kings and queens bless up